Yeah, you want a shot, wifey? Yeah. Look, wifey gonna take a shot with a flame. You ought to kill that cup, You ought to kill that cup. That's what we was all do, say. We had cups to do, say. Yeah, I know. Y'all gonna be lit, y'all. Nah, we just drinking. We ain't killing. Get my DJ a shot. You want one, Don Mula? You smoking over there. You want the shot ain't gonna put you down. You should. We ain't got no more cups. We ain't got no more cups. The Moolah. You gotta pop up more often. I ain't seen your ass since last year. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ready? Yes. 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 You sure you don't want to be in the background? You gonna be over there? I'm good. I'm good. You gonna lie? Yep. Hey, listen, man, it's your girl, Quinn Elijah, and we are back with our last interview for tonight. We got a very, very special guest in the building. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Go ahead and man. introduce yourself to the people, man. Hey, what it do, man? Y'all already know it's the problem. It's the committee. It's oh, the... You know what I'm saying? A little scrappy artist in the building. What's going on? Hey, it's the committee. So what, what's that all about? What's, what's It's the committee all about? Oh, you already know TC, man. You know, that scrap label. I'm one of the first artists on it, so you know we're going crazy. Okay, dog, dog, Shout out dog. to the big dog. You know what Shout I'm out to the big dog for real, for real. So like, how is it working with like little Scrappy? Man, it's a very cool truth. For real, for real. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's crazy. It's just it be a lot at once. I'm still taking it in myself. So. You still taking it all but in. But yeah, yeah, he, he got a young nigga moving. Okay, so how long you been linked in with Scrappy? Uh, we've been linked in for some years, but I've been signed uh, a little over a year and a half. So. Okay. Yeah, things, okay. Things, are, things are great. D the problem. <laughs> yeah. D the problem. So you go yeah. by D. Yeah, I go by D the and problem. You, know, you the, Why you the problem out here, D? What I'm you a, doing? I'm a good problem. You know what I'm <laughs> you know what I'm What's up? Tell us a little bit like how you came up with the name D the problem. Uh, well... Like by 2010, I used to have a, uh, my own little independent label situation called Problem Child Music Group. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So we was all supposed to be problem children. So I was D the problem. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know, like I was problem child, but I was D the problem. So <laughs> it was supposed to be like, you know, kid the problem, da 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 the problem. So oh, I'm not the only problem. You You're know what I'm saying? You're not the only it, problem. It, it, it's a lot of, you know, Problematic, you know. Cause, cause like when I saw the name for real, for real, I thought it was saying like data problem. Like you were yeah, saying, everybody you called me on them like day, data yeah, problem. Yeah, that's hard too. But some people be like uh, uh, data, data. You know, I I like for people to get what they get from it, man. Right. A, lot, a lot of artists, you know, people think it means something, but however I resonate with that person, I appreciate it. As long as they took interest in it, right. <laughs> so it's but my name just came from. Real life shit, you know what I'm saying? My okay. dudes could speak for it. Grandma, I just like I said, I was a good problem. I was, I wasn't necessarily disrespectful or just right. like somebody who be like, oh, oh, you don't want that problem, right? Like that motherfucker problem, right? You know what right, I'm saying? Right, so right, right. everybody always called me, you know, like the good kind of trouble and stuff. So okay. I just ran with the name, and I always had D. D E is what I go by, cause that's my name, Darius Edmund. So them initials. So um, I'm always be D. Okay. Never just D though. D E. That's why it's D E D A problem. You know D E D A problem. So like, how long have you been music? You know, like doing music now. My whole life. Pops Earth. put me in it. Yeah, I was recording on cassettes. You know what I'm saying? When you record it, you know, A side, switch it over B side and stuff like that, freestyling. Um, never had a chance to really take it serious on my hood because we was doing the streets and shit. You know, back then it wasn't really. Um, I came up in a black mob fam type area. So, you know, Travis Porter, them, 
kind of popped off around uh, around my side. Uh, Bank, um, R.I.P. to him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, right. Different. I went to see the Grove and shit. So different couple of people kind of popped off around that time. But we were kind of, you know, Eastside really just focused on money. The clubs, teen club scene was popping and stuff. So. We were just especially with that Travis Porter. Yeah, we was just heavy on getting up. getting money. So I was just I rapped, but I wasn't like let's take rap serious because it was other ways to get money. So it, it took me to get uh, locked up, and I turned eighteen in DeKalb County. Got out the next day, and I don't know how long, uh, like a couple months. My mama had when I was locked up, she was in basic training. You know what I'm saying? She went to the army real late, but she made it happy. You know what I'm saying? Trying to give us a different life. So. Uh, when she got out of basic training, she like, y'all coming to my first duty station, in Arizona. Oh, that's dope. No, it wasn't. I wasn't. It wasn't dope? Like, no, 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 no. Mama it, made it, a change no, and trying to create a new life. I'm from Atlanta, man. That nigga said, like, nah, it wasn't dope. Only thing I knew about <laughs> Arizona at that time was Phoenix Suns. I didn't know nothing. I didn't know, you know, <laughs> Gucci had mentioned it in some songs and shit like that. We knew about the popcorn meal coming. So that's what I was focused on when I got out there. That's why... They led to the story of me doing music because she went, even when the army money started rolling in, she was doing for everybody. But she wouldn't give me cold hard cash because she knew I was going to try to go find somebody to, you know, set up, you know, do my little thing. So she was like, what are you interested in? So I had to take a walk with some headphones and I, you know, I was like, shit, man, let me get a studio program. That was 2010. Now let me get a studio program, really try to do music and... That shit done changed my life for real, for real. I, I done been before I um, linked up with Scrap. Shout out to the business, uh, Slick Money. I was uh, with independent labels on the West Coast. Okay. I done toured with Lazy Bone. So it it, uh, it done been a ride. So it's just dope, man, what, what music can do for a nigga, for real, for real. That's right, that's right. Listen, man. D the problem, he got some hot ass shit out right now, you know what I'm saying? So we Appreciate definitely that. um wanna kick it back to the DJ and let these people know what we about to listen to, like your first single, what we about to listen to. Cause you sent us like two songs. Uh, what's, I don't know which one you're finna play. E either one, what, whatever you want the DJ to play. That's what uh, well, the single that's out so right now that like y'all, yeah, the single <laughs> that's out that y'all can go grab, I think uh, it's for the low, it's Scrappy featuring me, you know I'm on the hook. It's out right now. I almost had a uh, half a million views on YouTube. So, hey. hey, this it right here, man. For the low scrappy feature and do the problem. It's the committee. You see what I'm talking about? Hey. You heard right here with your girl, Quinn Elijah, rate that music. Ah. Drop, drop. So, someone playing live on the radio. I gotta get this done. I gotta have a fucking look. I don't want what you know. I need a whole one for the whole.